Hello friends and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm gonna show you which drivers to install and the Wattman settings for the RX Vega 64 to get 43.6 hash rate on Ethereum mining. As you see I have two of them. They are Subfire with Samsung memory. So let's start. First, I'm gonna install the blockchain drivers from AMD. I'm not using the blockchain drivers, I'm just installing them just to show you the difference in hash rate with some uh, other drivers that I found. And then I'm gonna uninstall them using the DDU tool, Display Driver Uninstaller tool. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the, the installation progress so you don't have to wait. I'm gonna restart the computer now and we have installed the blockchain drivers. As you see, this is yes, this is the blockchain drivers. This is the version. Let's go to Global Watman. And this is the standard RX Vega settings. 1000 hertz for uh, the I'm sorry 1000 megahertz for the for the core and uh, 1100 for the memory clock same here don't forget to increase the fan speed I'm not tweaking the voltage because the only thing that uh, I'm gonna get by tweaking the voltage is uh, hash rate drop. Everything looks okay. So let's start the Claymore Ethereum Miner. So as you see, we have uh, we get uh, thirty-eight point eight point almost thirty-nine mega hashes. It's not bad, but uh, I think we can do better than this. And also, I'm gonna show you the power consumption. So okay. As you see the, the clock isn't stable and the power consumption is around uh, 600 watts from the wall. So I'm gonna install the the 17.11.1 drivers now <coughs> I'm 
I skipped the step uh, where I uninstalled the blockchain drivers using the uh, DDU tool. I believe that you can do this by your own. So I'm installing the soldered drivers. See if everything is okay. <coughs> yep, everything seems good. Let's reboot. Okay. So this is the 17.11.1 uh, drivers. I'm gonna link in the description. So let's set the same values as before. forget the fan speed So as you see we have uh, we get forty three point six mega hashes for each card much better we increased our hash rate by 4 mega hashes just uh, using different drivers and I think it's very good hash rate although I don't recommend the Vega 64 for Ethereum mining because I don't think uh, it's worth uh, you can buy two RX 580s and the same price for one uh, Vega 64 and you get uh, with those two RX 580s you get 60 mega hashes so not worth at least for ethereum mining <laughs> uh, 
and we see it's stable and I'm gonna show you the power consumption here so as you see it's much better thank you for watching